Okay, so I'm doing a quick review of the Wilson Sleek to show that when you people talk about these things not working, you need to do it properly. Now, the problem we're going to have here is that I'm doing 4G and this thing doesn't work for 4G. But I'm still going to try it, and then while I do this, I'm going to try to switch to. See, was it? Show the signal. Eighty-five dBm, fifty-five ASU. Okay. Turn the signal booster on. I forget. Do I have this hooked up to my car stereo? Yes, I do. Okay. So I have to turn the car on. There we go. Now it should it should cause no signal boost. Because I'm on 4G. Let's see, now how do I relegate it to 3G? Okay, I'm on this LTE on off app. I never use this app on this particular phone, but let's try this out. Okay. Okay, I don't look right, but whatever. Okay, let's change it to... Let's try EVDO only, see what happens. Okay, the 4G coming away. Okay, that might have been the wrong setting. Let's see if I still have a data connection. Okay. No data connection. Okay, let's try CDMA only. Okay, yeah, there we go. Now I got 3G connection. Now you remember it was 85 or 80, 87. So now let's see what we have on the 3G data connection. Settings. Okay, now first I'm going to unplug this. <coughs> so I'll turn the signal booster off. Okay, good. Now let's run A3 DBM again, 4 ASU. I don't know what that means. Okay, now let's plug this back in. Remember, it's turned off. Okay, now it's back on. Green means there's no issues. Three out of four bars. Now I just went to 75. Now I don't know I don't remember exactly how DBM DB work, but that's 75. Now I'm gonna pull this again. Wait for a signal to drop, and then I'm gonna do a speed test. Okay, that just dropped, and so did that. 83 DBM for ASU. Now 93, 2 ASU, and it just dropped again the two bars. Okay, now, I'm gonna run a speed test. Speed test, speed test, speed test, speed test. Okay, speed test. 3G, two bars, 93 dBm. Okay, begin test. One or two milliseconds ping. Getting less than a meg download, teetering around the high, mid to low 800s, or mid to high 800s. 
done. Now I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada, and this is testing a server in Los Angeles. Okay, so it's going it's to asymmetric connection right now. Same speed up, same speed down. So there's a speed test for Los Angeles, California. Okay, now it's saying three bars. Let's go back to the connection page. Right now, signal showing 83 decibels for ASU. Okay, now we're going to plug this back in. Turn that back on. Wait for signal to go up. There we go. We have an 8 decibel jump. Four bars. Let's go back and run the same speed test again. Ping is better. Speed test not showing improvement. Okay, no, there we go. There's an improvement. Now, I don't know how 3G works. I mean, I don't usually write in 3G, so I don't know speeds. But that was a better download speed. Now it's hard to test something like this real world. So that's why I'm using a speed test. Okay, now. Let's try changing servers. Okay, let's turn this off again. While I turn that off, I'm going to change servers. Change the performance, even though I don't think that matters. Okay, server. <coughs> uh, let's try this one local. Okay, uh, signal. See the signal. It's shown three bars. Let's see the signal is officially dropped. Okay, now we're back to 83 decibels for ASU. find closer server. I want to find the server. Okay. Never mind. Still doing still doing the Las Vegas server. Okay. Oh wait. Dang it. Alright, so la 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 Las Vegas server. Quit closing the application. Begin test. Ah, uh, see, that's why I hate this local server has a terrible ping. So I'm going to cancel this test. Can I? I'm going to have to let the test go through. Sorry, I would use my tripod for this video, but it's hard to use a tripod in my car. La 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 la. Hmm. So let's do this while it's in the test. Now, I think the best results I always had was a San something server. Was it San Diego? I thought it was San Francisco. San Francisco Monkey Brand. Let's try this server. I'm pretty sure San was the one I always, I was the one I, I was always the most susceptible to changes and the one that gave me the best speeds. But the problem with speed tests is only as accurate as the server you're testing against. See, that's a better server all, all around. Get 9.30 with three bars of 3G. Upload. Kind of finicky. Well, actually, I turned the animations down, so that's why the animations are not as impressive. Okay, so... The hell just happened? Why is it not showing the proper the whole speeds? Let me turn the animation back on. Son of a.
333 pin. This is probably why I like a single booster. Right now, I can see my signal boost is off right now. And the nature of 3G is it's not reliable. As soon as this test is over, I'm going to switch back and see what the signal is showing right now. Right, so we got 333, 843, 821. 83 dBm. Okay. Let's plug this in. Turn on. Wait for the signal to change. No matter what the real world examples are, this is shown right away as far as the phone is concerned. The de decibels are going up, well down, up. Lower number is better, or lower negative. Technically it's a higher number. Okay, so 4 bars, 75 dB, 16 ASU. Make sure the animations are nice, because this is a video, so why not have the good animations. Okay, speed test. You know, this is what we got at the 95 dBm for ASU now, 75 decibels. Now you see the ping is lower, 150 versus 333. And ping is going to affect the, you know, when you're down on a website, ping is going to matter more than the actual throw, throw, throw put, throughput, throughput. And also, this is not the greatest test because I'm in an area with good signal. If I get a chance later today when I'm driving around, I'll try to do a test in an area that um, has low signal. Because that's where this is really going to shine. The idea of a signal booster is when the signal is low or sparse, it will increase it. But the difference between 90, you know, the 90 decibels and 75 is not very much. Because you're getting towards the upper, upper limits of the phone's capability in the first place, so that's not really mattering too much. It'll make a bigger difference with phone calls. If you go to an area that has dropped phone calls, that, there's a lot of areas where I, um, I deliver pizzas. There's a lot of areas I go to with dropped phone calls. Um, along Craig Road, along Shiner Road, there's a lot of dead spots. This minimizes dead spots. Um, if I'm on a phone call, I don't have to worry about my phone dropping the call. If it's going to drop the call, it's only going to drop the call if this, if this tower is completely gone from the tower. Which, in a city, with decent coverage, even a spotty coverage, shouldn't be a problem. So, yeah, don't tell me Sigma boosters don't work. This is a grip, you know, this is a Wilson Sleek cradle booster that I have for now. And I am planning on up, um, getting the slightly more expensive Wilson... Uh, multi-device signal booster partly because I don't want to continue using this cradle I want to use whatever kind of cradle I want so in the future people if you're going to do a review on a, on a, on a uh, device sure it helps to, when you tell us that you get one you get one bar usually you turn this on you get four bars that's helpful but if you're, if you're one of the people who's going to say oh it doesn't work and first of all, you're not even saying how many bars you're getting initially and how many bars you're getting now. So that's already, you're not being, you know, you're not being very truthful. You're not being very descriptive. You're not being very helpful. But furthermore, if you can, especially if you have a smartphone, which is what, what's going to matter. It's going to matter with smartphones and data cards. You should have the capability of getting an actual readout of the, of the numbers of your signal. Because um, right now there's a, current, there's a current drama with the Samsung Galaxy Nexus on Verizon as opposed to the previous um, Thunderbolt devices where the 4G would say full signal and you know now it's saying one one bar two bars I'm having the same issues in the same areas where it used to show a lot of bars and now it's not showing as many with this phone but apparently that's because this phone 
has a more accurate bar dis um, bar description, bar numbers. Do -do -do -do. Where was the setting that it had originally? My 4D back. All right, 4G. Never shits and giggles. Why not do another speed test? You know, the speed test is not about 4G versus 3G. I always like to see my 4G speeds. Yeah. 4G. All right, 4G. And an excellent ping, too. So, 4G is awesome because not only, I mean, partly because of network congestion, um, at least for the time being, there should be less network congestion. There, it's a lower frequency, so it's less susceptible to obstructions, which is good. However, I do understand that LTE has issues with um, the amount of devices it can handle on a network. So, while it has better penetration, I guess it requires more power to broadcast, and there's other issues, but LTE is nice. Um, 4G is nice. Desktop level connections at home. I know people with DSL who are slower than my 4G. And that's an excellent ping. I've, hell, you could actually probably, you could play a video game, an online game, with a ping of 99 milliseconds.